What's up, y'all? We are back for our, I don't know, like ninth time, tenth mm -hmm. time. But we have such exciting news for you guys. Well, first of all, we have a lit-ass podcast today. But the exciting news is we did reach our 1,000 subscribers. Hey. And I was telling her, if you guys have been following me for a while, it took a hot minute for me to get mine and my brother's travel channel up to 1,000. Like, honestly, I want to say it took three months, to be exact. We reached 1,000 subscribers less in, like, than less than a month. I yeah. want to say it was, like, maybe 20 days, mm -hmm. honestly. <laughs> It made me so happy. Like, I was telling Tim, like, guys, sometimes, not often, I'll, like, go through the comments. And I'm, like, seeing, like, the positive I tell vibes. her, don't read the comments, I know, by the way. I know. But seeing, well, honestly, through the comments, I learned one girl did, she was in the raid club with me. She done had her mama oh, put raid if you guys didn't watch the last episode. Actually, to be honest, our last episode, I think, was our littest. Like, our, <laughs> it was, first of all, our longest episode. Yeah. Second of all, last, what she's talking about is, you know what, we're going to keep it if you know, if you know. Okay. Yeah. We're just going to keep it at that. Go but back. then I was reading the comments and I'm like, dude, you guys really like it. And it made me happy because I did not expect this. I didn't expect to be on this podcast. I didn't expect to repeat it. I didn't expect for our own channel. And then like, y'all really like it. And I was like, oh, it makes me so freaking happy. Well, and just so you guys know where I'm coming from, the reason why I told her to not read the comments is because she did say at first that she was nervous. And I was like, to be keep, like, to keep it real with you i know that when i have a controversial opinion say for example about a beauty guru or whatnot and i'm like i know that people are gonna fight with me i don't look at the comments yeah. because why am i gonna ruin my mental health like my opinions yeah. my opinion and no matter what people say in the comments it's not gonna change my opinion no. so i told her when we first started this venture i was like girl just don't look at the comments you know what i mean but i did and but i seen that but i did too seeing the, the happy ones i'm like it, may, it literally makes me so freaking happy when y'all are like oh i feel like y'all are my friends i'm right here folding my clothes whatever i'm like oh my gosh i love that because i watch my podcast you know that i like and me I'm too like, That's same so way crazy. yep it made me happy though because we reached our 1k on our channel and we're ready to go yeah so that means that we are going to be uploading our very first mm -hmm. own podcast onto that channel on january 3rd Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen if I am wrong, is but I Wednesday, think it is. Right? Yes. We're so, going to do Wednesdays. Yes. So I'm going to try my hardest. For those of you that have been following me for the longest time, you guys know I am a procrastinator and everything that I say <laughs> is um, not going to happen. <laughs> I've been telling them, hold on, I've been telling them since June, I want to say, that I'm going to do my full face of makeup with my favorite products and I still haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> so take it with a grain of salt okay <laughs> but i really do and i was telling her like i genuinely have found a new passion for this like i really feel like this is what i was meant for like i have so much fun the fact that i watch our videos back while i'm editing them and yeah. bust up laughing uh -huh. and i send her clips mm -hmm. and we bust up laughing i was like this is what i was meant for honestly like we're hilarious yes <laughs> <laughs> not no. a student our own horns <laughs> i i know i watch it and i like it and i'm like oh my gosh i like and then it makes me so happy when i see that you guys like it and if you don't girl that's cool you still watching but well, you like it hold on my whole thing is if you don't like it click off the video if you, you know what i've never understood in people online and there's a lot of you guys out there and i've seen it in the comments before where i'll talk about like james charles or jeffrey star or nikki tutorials whoever and they'll be like oh i like to hate watch that person and i understand the concept of like oh you cringe me out so much that i can't turn away no. it's like watching a train wreck no i'm not that type of person like i can't hate watch somebody if i james charles perfect example of course yes i do drama videos on my channel so i'll watch what tea he's in but i don't ever and i mean even on tiktok if i see him talking click away Mm -hmm. Click away. You irritate me. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not. Like, if I'm not into you, I'm not. Not yeah. doing it. Why not are you going to hate? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you going to get yourself all riled up mm -hmm. and be like, I hate. Like, I feel like when you hate hey, watching. You're someone, getting off on us and you hate us. Just getting keep off watching, and, girl. And wait, getting off and No, like, away. getting off, like, because you just can't. Because we're so Why'd you freaking... make this motion? Well, if so you just think I'm so watch. annoying that you can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't understand the whole concept of hate watching. I really I know don't. we're not for everybody. This isn't my first day realizing that. Ma'am, I've been told that in life. Ma'am, I know. But it, honestly, though, real, for real, it made me so happy like that. Some chicks really are into us and they like watching us. I was like, that makes me so happy. Well, I'm sorry, but that just means that they're not done. Well, we're um, all friends together. Amen. We're oh, friends. my God. Y'all, we have several, several plans 
for our own channel. And I'm just, we're not going to talk about it yet because we're going to get it all situated and organized. But I do have to say this, though, that we are going to be taking it to the couch. Y'all know that I can't oh, afford. Yeah, we're, we're relocating. We're relocating. So when you guys see our first podcast, it will be separate. And I do want to say this, too. I was just today, actually, <laughs> watching. It's so fucking funny. I was just watching Trisha Paytas' podcast earlier. And she said, well, she was talking to um, Leo Skeppy. This guy, by the way, if you guys don't know who he is, he's like really popular he's on like TikTok. He's like six seven or something. No he is don't. not six seven. I literally, <laughs> you know why you did that? Yeah, because we were talking I told, about it. We right. were walking in WeHo, and I'm six foot two, y'all. Like, and I'm I'm measured six foot two. I will get on camera and I will have her bust out a whole damn measuring tape. Yes, I am yeah. six foot two. The reason for that being is because people had commented before for that my, you weren't six two. Me and my brother had did a video, and they were like, "Wait, you said your brother's six three and you're six two, but no, he's way taller than you." And I'm like. He's literally wearing high top vans yeah. while I'm in like regular. She was barefoot. Yes, <laughs> yeah. literally. I'm like, okay, you guys are dumb. Oh no, but... he's six two. Yes. Um. But hold on, we Allegedly. saw him. We <laughs> we saw him in WeHo one night, and as I was walking past him, I recognized him. But I'm not. Like, I'm not. I'm not being rude when I say this. I'm not like a <laughs> like a big fan of his that I'm gonna go out of my way or whatever, right? But as we're walking past him, he was standing right in front of a revolver. For those of you that know, and I was like. Why is he a good two inches taller than me? I could almost see eye to eye to him. And I'm like, I know I'm 6'2". He is not 6'7". Mm. I am willing to go to bat on that. I'm like, no. Maybe he's 6'7 with shoes on. Maybe with the, those, like, the, the high top. Oh, he had um, them, them chucks on them. Yes, the high top chucks, chucks that I have. Maybe that. I don't know. Her. Anyways, the whole point of me even talking about that is I was watching Trisha Paytas' podcast today. And she was asking him, like, oh, you have a podcast? And uh, he was like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I didn't think you had a podcast because you don't have microphones. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, we're and, running a business here. And, she, and he literally said, he's like, oh, well, I don't have a microphone like right in front of me because like I'm very like animated. So I'm going to hit it, you know? And I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, I'm just letting you guys know when we go on the couch, we're going to be on wireless microphones. Right now we have a mic microphone. sitting right in front of us. Yeah. But I was telling her the sure mics for the, for the, it's going to make noise. It made disc. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> they know what mic I use. They sent me those mics for free, actually. Who did? Blue Yeti. Period. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes, they sure did. It's Blue... cute. I like yeah. it. Well, that's actually for when it comes down to like these style of mics. Those are Testicles like the most expensive. one, too. Girl. <laughs> Anyways, the Sure mics, which are the podcast mics, they're $350 each. Like the ones that go each. like that? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, you have to pay for the arm separately. I bought one arm. Oh, God. I have one okay, arm. Okay, so we're on our way. Well, no, no, no. So I bought the arm, and the arm cost $50. And I was like, oh, $50. I thought I could hang up this Blue Yeti to it. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, turns out you can't. You have to buy the Sure mic, and the Sure mic is three hundred fifty dollars. So I was like, Mm-mm. I'm just letting you know, girl. Um, so I told her the last podcast that we had, it was our highest retention one and our most viewed one. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I'm le- YouTube. You can fire me. I don't care. We made seventy three dollars. Period. <laughs> Period. And we spent it all on seltzers. <laughs> no, we've spent triple that since that week. <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it real. So I'm Jeez like, I'm Louise. sorry. I just can't make those investments. You know what I mean? But I just thought it was really funny that Trisha Paytas had made a comment about like, oh, I just didn't think it was a podcast if you don't have the mics. And I'm like, can you hear? You heard the vocals though? Okay. That's what I was thinking. Okay. I was like, I feel like I could put our audio. Okay, Malibu Barbie. <laughs> okay. I love Trisha Paytas. Don't play. Like, no, literally, she's cool. Do you, people used to cancel me all the time. Well, not cancel me, but like talk shit about me because I like Trisha Paytas and I've always said I like her. She's she's all right. She's she just has a little shit going on. But don't we all? She's hilarious. No, she's cool. She's so unintentionally funny that I love her. Like the yeah. things that come out of her mouth, I'm like, I like you. Yeah. Like she doesn't think. You know. I wonder what she's gonna name her next kid though. Oh, Elvis, right? Elvis. I was like, yeah, it's already... She said it... Gender is irrelevant at that point. Yeah, she said if it's a boy or a girl. But I do think... I feel like Elvis could be a girl's name. I think it's cute. I don't think I would love that. Although I do love Elvis. Well, like, Taylor is both... (gasps) Hold on, speaking of Taylor. Bitch, can you imagine Taylor Lautner married a Taylor? So her name's now Taylor Lautner. That's weird. I don't like that. I've seen that before. Right? That's weird. I don't like it either. Sorry, if your name's Angelica, I cannot function with you. Can you imagine if I end up with another Tim? Oh, that's possible for you. Yeah, that is. It is. Well, it's possible that you end up with an angel. 
Not an mm. angel, because we already know he's going to be a devil. Don't like that. Anyways, our whole new podcast, y'all, just letting you guys know, we've been drinking for a hot minute before yeah, this. We had errands to, we ran errands. We had errands to run, and I was like, um, let's have a drink while we're inside Walmart. Um, and we did steal a few things, and... <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Just kidding. We do not steal Mr. From Walmart. Wall, Mr. Wall and Miss Smart. <laughs> Miss Smart. <laughs> it was a joke. I know you can't you can't make jokes anymore, but it was a joke. It was a <laughs> joke. Okay. I have stolen though, I'm not gonna lie. Um my toxic trait is that when I get I was underage. Tipsy. Hold on. I'm gonna put you on blast right now. I don't even give a shit because you weren't stealing. We went to Vaughn's, and I will grab one of these cuffs. She was tipsy while we were at Vaughn's. It, it was, was Ralph's. It was my... Oh, yeah, yeah, it Ralph's. Was, okay. It was my drive night. We always, like, take turns <laughs> of, like, okay, you're getting fucked up tonight. Okay, I'll drive. Whatever, right? We, I love that we it's a take... a friend's club. Yes, we're like, okay, it's your turn to drive, okay? So we go into Ralph's, right, because we love to check out the clearance section. <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, hold on. Okay, just so in case you thought we were playing... On my desk. In case you thought... We got crass charcoal for two eighty nine. Two thirty eight, girl. Two thirty eight. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. She sorry, said two eighty nine. I've we were. I've been drinking for a minute. I've been drinking. Anyway, so this same night that I got this crest right here, because I'm sorry, that's a great deal. It does not expire until 2025. Mm-hmm. She was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like I don't know why. For some reason, I just want to steal a tumbler because oh it has God. a Starbucks built inside Dude, of it. When I drink, I just want to steal. <laughs> Which is so dumb to me. It is I'm so like, dumb. All I want to do when I drink is eat, to be quite honest with you. Well, well, here we go. We're walking through Starbucks, and she literally, in front of the worker, who, by the way, <laughs> this worker, we're going to tell a story about her, because she, do you remember that? Never mind. I'll tell you right now. As we're walking out, she takes a tumbler from Starbucks in front of the worker who's working the self-checkout stand, and she literally, under her shirt, goes like this, and the worker's like, <laughs> come on, give me. Gimme. I'm like, meanwhile, people going to leave a ton and just bash the glass in <laughs> and steal shit, and I can't get a tumbler? She's all, it's twenty four ninety five. America is this? It's twenty four ninety five. Last time I checked, it was under $900, so <laughs> I thought I could take it. <laughs> Do you know what her drunk ass does? Here. I, I didn't put it back on the shelf. I handed it and to she her. She literally said, here. But I felt Jeez like Louise. people are going to think that she's being so serious. It was a joke. It was well, a no, joke. yeah, like no, no. But I just get, I just get an urge to be unhinged when I drink. Shocker. <laughs> Not when you're sober. Exactly. <sighs> this same lady, though, I was telling her, I was like, um, you have me so far confused, and this is how I know that she's delusional. She's a fellow LGBT member. <laughs> I don't mean to. Why are you laughing? She is. I'm sorry, but. She had her member's card. <laughs> well, no, I had asked her. I was like, oh, I'm surprised to see you working at Ralph's. I thought she would work at Home Depot. <laughs> she transitioned into working at Ralph's from Home Depot. True story. <laughs> so I one time was going in. <laughs> not me dropping my phone. Mm-hmm. One time I had told her because she forgot her ID and we found these. Um, uh, What were they? Happy Dad. Happy, the banana. We found banana Happy Dads. First of all, we're delusional because they were only like $5 cheaper, but we had to have them all, right? And she, <laughs> we bought all of yes, them. Yes, she didn't have her ID. She left it in the car. So mm-hmm. I was like, girl, don't come near me. Like, I'll pay for it. Send me the money, whatever. And the reason for that being, depending upon what guys, uh, what state you guys are in, they literally will be like, oh, the there's two of you together. be on a power trip. Girl, they have to check both of your IDs. One time, too, by the way, even when I was 20 years old, I was with my Nana, who at the time was, what, 65? Yeah. And they were like, we need to see his ID. And she, okay. uh, my Nana's like, hey, this is my grandson. We need to see his ID, though. And she, yeah, she's like, he's underage. I can't buy drinks. They didn't. They didn't let her buy the drinks. Oh yes. hell no! Yes. So I told her since obviously since then I was like, girl, just go separately. Like, just go away. I'll pay for it. Whatever you know. No. So here I am buying five cases of banana <laughs> happy dads. <laughs> uh, mind you, at like one thirty in the morning, yes. right before uh, cutoff time, and this lady tells me, oh. The same one who called her out. I, me, she forgot me, apparently. Which I do have to say, everyone always remembers me. Yeah, you're unforgettable. Because I'm so huge. You're I'm just so, very like, specific individual. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Not in a bad a- way. I feel like once I open my mouth, I'm a very specific individual. No, they get you confused with Caitlyn Jenner a lot. So, <laughs> Anyways, so as I'm checking out, she was like, wow. Oh. This is the first time that I see you in here alone. Usually you're with a lot of men. I go to the car with all these. I'm um, first of all <laughs> taking all these. Yes. Four kids. I'm carrying them all. Sausage. By the way, I'm carrying them all because. Yeah, no car inside. Yes, I'm all. I got it. And I tell her, I'm like, 
she said that I'm usually in here with a bunch of men. I'm like, who are you getting me confused with? Either she's with? confusing you or me. <laughs> <laughs> You're the bunch of men. She's like the drag <laughs> or the transitioning one. <laughs> I she's literally... She's short, but she's loud. <laughs> like, what? Lord Farquaad. <laughs> I legit lost my mind. I was like, um, I have never been in there with have a man. Have you ever locked eyes with this person? I used to work at that same exact Ralph. With her? Way. No. Oh, okay. no. Like, Ma'am, that was 17 years ago. Oh, okay. 17 years ago. Well, she done heard about you. <laughs> she done heard about you. Well, even then, I was like, where's these men that you speak of? Are they in the meat department? Because I know my Jeez, way. Louise. No, she didn't. No, she... Girl, I wish I had it recorded. Not remember. I wish I had, like, one of those, like, um, how do you call them? Ray-Ban little glasses Nicola. that record things. Dude, I wish I had that for my life. Mm. For my life. Like, be for For real. Phoenix, huh? Could you imagine? Yeah, imagine if the you had camera's Phoenix. like down there. I'm like, what's going on down there? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as you guys know, here on the Sip and Spill, we do have hot topics. We will be getting into it. I know that this has already been a while, but this is this is supposed to be our Christmas episode, and Angelica over here with a G, not a J. <laughs> yeah, clearly. What did we say we were gonna have last week, girls? Come on, girls. Hold on. One, two, two three. three. Peppermint whip shots, period. We got and it. We don't got them. Hold on. I just wanna say the irony of our life. So, in case you guys did not know this, so I'm a Pisces, but I'm a Cancer rising, and I'm she's a cancer, a cancer. And I'm a. Wait, I'm not a. I'm, hold on. I just yeah, I literally. Like, wait, 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 hold on. I, I was bl- like, you never told me that. <laughs> never I told blatantly me that. lied. I'm a Pisces, but I'm a Gemini rising. Oh, she's God. she's a Cancer, but a Pisces rising. Mm-hmm. So I just want to say there's some times, though, that I feel that our Pisces intuitions, if you guys know anything about Pisces, apparently, apparently, okay, I'm no, <laughs> I'm no astrological figure here. Apparently, they have um, psychic abilities. We had said last so. week. I don't. Well, I think so. I just feel like sometimes m- more so with you than anybody. Everything that we talk Anything about happens. Anything we talk about happens comes to fruition. Except for money. Except, Except for, for money. money or love. Except for those two things. <laughs> anything, I love food. Anything we talk about comes comes to life. Well, I and love, it be I love so food and like, we talk about food and it appears. It could be so little or it could be something like. Major. 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 It just always comes to light. Like seeing baby daddies on Instagram reels that have over 200,000 views. I just... I don't know. I wouldn't know. Don't know nothing about it. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, I just thought it was so hilarious that we talked about Cardi B's whip shots. Last week, you guys can check it. Yes, we did talk about Cardi B and her potentially, potentially separating from Offset. Well, first of all, it's been it's been confirmed. She mm-hmm. confirmed it throughout the week. And on top of that, too, she got beef with Nicki Minaj. We'll be talking about it all. And I'm just mm-hmm. letting you guys know, whenever it comes down to Nicki, um, it's about to be a four-hour podcast. Because I can talk <laughs> about it for 17 hours. Like I'm I, like, hold on. <laughs> she's all asleep, and I'm like... Brrr. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought it was really funny, because last week we did talk about whip Whippy shots. shots. Yep, and we have uh, I just... My, my only complaint, I haven't tasted them yet. I had never tried them. I don't think you're going to like it. I'm just throwing that out there. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The math is yeah. nothing. Hold on. Hold well, on. For we'll give two, it a go. For 200 milliliters. How many calories is it? Oh, it says non-dairy. Oh, I'm pleased to see that. Is it oh, oh it's oat milk? I love that. I don't know. I do have to say this, though, is there is a lot. And I do mean a lot of instructions on this, okay? Mm. And I told... <laughs> It's okay. It's not a gift, anyways. It's Don't not. A, it's that. a gift to us. It's a gift to us. I told her before. I was like, okay, I'm gonna follow the instructions before pressing play on this video or pressing record on this video. And I was like, I'm gonna redo it because I have tried whip shots before. I've tried the caramel one. I've tried the vanilla one, and I've tried a coffee one. And I have to say, honestly, flavor is good, but it took a. It was like a process to get there for it to come out as a cream. Because yeah. the first time that me and Cynthia tried it. It just squirted. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, hey, George. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Shout out to Irma. She literally... Oh, she just told me tamales. Oh, my gosh. I keep on telling her that my homegirl, Cynthia, she's been on my channel before for the OGs out there. My homegirl's mom cooks the best okay. tamales. And I keep on telling her, like, let me boost your business, girl. Like, for real, I'll put it on everywhere, girl. I'll put it on Backpage. I'll put it on Escorts.com. <laughs> I'll put it on Seeking Arrangements. However you want to sell those tamales. Hot tamales. <laughs> uh, she got the hot tamales. Girl. She got the business box. She got the business box. And I literally, I'm like, girl, come on, let me pimp her out. But oh my she, god, guys. She I had a business it. meeting with <gasps> Dallas. Oh, hold on. 
So I was getting into that because I was going to say, I know we got hot topics. The hot topics are coming. The but let's talk about our life. Hot topic. Yes. I had a business meeting after. The business box is an inside joke. If you don't know, you don't know. Then what, yeah, you got to watch episodes. Know about the business box. A lot of business ideas tossed around. I love how <laughs> I literally am living vicariously through her because my life is so still. All I do is travel. <laughs> Okay, says she's leaving me tomorrow to go to some island I can't remember. I don't. I I'm, well, I'm going to Puerto Rico. Bye. I didn't say, but Puerto Rico is not the island I'm talking about. No, there's another island. I don't can't. know. And you said I don't remember, and I was like, okay, it sounds a lot like privilege. Hold to on, me. but you know what's really funny? If you guys watch my travel channel, you guys would know I get the hookup through my mom. Like literally, I don't pay. The- I don't care if I get the hookup through whoever. I'm still on the road. No, but what I'm saying is, is like as soon as hey, do you want to go on this cruise? Yes. Yep. Oh, $149 for a seven days? Yes. yes. I don't think about where is it at because I don't care. It's you know okay, what I mean? Because in less than nine weeks, I will be out of the country. Oh, so we can't talk about it. We're going to talk about it real soon. Don't know where I'll Bro- be. You guys already know. We guys get... Did... Cynthia and George, I'm talking to you. Do you know that George and Cynthia hit me up and said, where are you guys going? After I said, we're going to give you a hint. I don't got the guys I must. I'm like. Wait, you didn't get that Hello Kitty Super Mario Bros? I'm like. You didn't mm. get it? <laughs> literally didn't know. Anyways, but yeah. Oh, hold on. Because my life is not as juicy as yours. I am literally leaving tomorrow on a cruise. So mm. I am. Go- well, I'm actually, Do you know how bored I'm going to be this weekend? She has friends. I'll be waiting. Her sister's fun. And yeah. her si- oh, she has a new brother-in-law who's really fun too. And they, they got married. They go, oh, oh, hold on. We didn't talk about that because we did say our last podcast that we were filming that it was her sister's um, I was gonna say birthday, her sister's wedding the next day. And I do have to say the that wedding. That was last Saturday? Last Saturday. Yeah. The wedding was fun. Yeah, we had fun, a fun, ball. fun. <gasps> Hold on. Can we give you guys a little wedding tea right here? Please tell me why things popped off. Well, you know, she told me. Things popped off with the taco man. The taco man tried to fight the neighbor. No, 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 I no. Said, I said, can let I get me, the ring footage? Retract, because the taco man did fight the neighbor after my mom went over there to talk I him. thought tried to. So, I was a good girl. Mind you, I can stay up and drink. You were a good girl. I was a good girl. I went to bed at midnight, and this was at my house. So I, I had, was I was home by 12.15. I had every... I had every permission in the world to stay up till 4 a.m. and black out. Because I was at my home. Yeah. But I didn't because I knew I had to wake up butt crack early and clean the house. And also the Cowboys were playing the Eagles. Let's go Cowboys. So I Girl, knew- she was talking about the Cowboys and they didn't play until like 5 p.m. But I knew I had to get up and clean and it was a wreck at my house, right? So then I go to bed. We went. You left at midnight. I went to bed at midnight. We had- I was going to spend the night, but I was like... I'm According not- to my calculations, I, like, I'm not tipsy. I had... I had 11 seltzers and three shots, according to my calculations. That's not bad. <gasps> no, I was chilling. I'm sorry. You know, I have ADD. I was watching another podcast, and there was this skinny girl on there who had said, if I have six drinks, I'm done blacked out. And I was like, or so, sorry, I said six drinks, six seltzers. And I was like. Ma'am, that's that's our appetizer. That's how you and know we have serious. problems, is that six So seltzers. far, what have we drank? We've had, I've had, for me, tonight, what time is it? Okay, what's today? Friday. Friday. It's eleven thirty. I had a tequila soda. But not really though. And then we went to the liquor store. I had a tall can happy dead. Oh, and they had them on sale. And I've had three. Hold on. Do you want to know how like rough life is? Is I was so excited this liquor store we went to had the Happy Dad tall cans for three dollars and fifty four cents, and I said, "Oh, seven eleven's three seventy nine, so we got to start going here." So she took a picture of the liquor it's store. It's okay, store. liquor and Cerritos. <laughs> okay, liquor and Cerritos, California. I was like, we and got they had to. all the salsa flavors. They I was did. Like, they did. Yep. Got me a Defro Happy Dad real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I just but love how it's blacking 27. me out. No, it's gonna take. I've never been blacked out for twenty. <laughs> for twenty dollars. I was no. I was thinking of the twenty cents. I was thinking of the twenty cents. I was no, like, no six Celsius. I'm I'm barely feeling good at six Celsius, and I'm being dead ass serious. Me like too. I'm barely. I'm like, oh okay. I'm we have chilling. a tolerance, I guess. Well, but man, we've been drinking for a year straight. <laughs> like what <well>, straight. <laughs> Man, I've been drinking since I won't well, say I mean, the like age. Me I'm not, and you. Oh, oh, I've been yeah. drinking for a year straight. Well, it's been over a year, bro. But anyways, I just think it's trippy though that like everybody's tolerance is different, you know. Yeah. Well, remember I, the hangovers, hangovers I used to get. Shit. We could drink about four drinks, and I would the next day I'm incapacitated. Not now. Like I would be wrecked, and then it got to a point where what would I drink? 
What was it? Um, drink aid. Dr- I would drink, drink the little drink cat piss drinks they put in the capsules, but they smell like cat they, piss. They are. And they it's, taste I'm pretty like sure it's cat piss. cat piss, but I wouldn't get hung over. It worked. It I worked. I wouldn't yeah. not. And then it's so what I did. It like. <clears throat> You know, I kept going and progressing, and now it's like, I don't get girl. Now takes, she's a professional. A girl, I'm a professional. Why are you blaming me, though? I'm not blaming you. You said. I'm saying you're just a co conspirator. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. What were you talking about? So, our weeks. So, I have to say, my week is that's just the eventful thing. I have nothing personal going the on. The liquor store today was your eventful thing? No. Oh. I was talking about, I was going back to me leaving on my cruise tomorrow. You are leaving tomorrow, and that's not eventful for me. She's going to have a great yeah, yeah. time. Yeah, uh, can you drop me off at the airport? And Bye. She, and she said no. What, no, I didn't say no. She I said, said no. eat my ass. She, That's what no, I said. Actually, That's literally what I'm I said. All, I could put up a screenshot <laughs> and she literally did say eat my ass. That's... Mm-hmm. That's what a friend no, she is. So if I any would. of you guys are available to take me to the airport tomorrow, even though you guys are seeing this on Sunday. Okay, well, if you're smart, you know, eat my ass is like, I guess, bitch. <laughs> Anyone who knows, knows. Anyways, let's hear about Maya your business box. Night? Yep. Mm-hmm. How embarrassing. How, what do you mean how embarrassing? It's not embarrassing. It's just that. You like, have a habit of saying embarrassing when that's not embarrassing. No. I'm jealous. No, I'm, I'm ta- literally no, jealous. what I'm talking about is that if these people were to see my podcast, even though like I don't That tell- man is never going to see it. Well, I hope not. Well. It's just like, well, you, you're more popular than I. Well, first of all. He won't know if you're talking about him or the other five you got. So we, we literally just saying. called him Dallas because he lived in Dallas in the last podcast. Um, hey Siri, <laughs> what's the population of Dallas? <laughs> I do love the Dallas Cowboys. Um, so uh, you're right. Hold on, she couldn't hear me because my phone is literally still <laughs> on the floor. What's the population of Dallas, girl? Why are you acting like he's so okay. rare? Come on, girl. You gotta it's, switch up the nicknames. It's well, at first we said five. <laughs> oh, yeah. At first okay. we did say five. So that I had was... a business meeting with five. Remember? Like, okay, and I did read some of the comments of the girls talking about, like, how long till they give the business bucks. And some <gasps> girls... I for... I did, I swear to God, I did mean to read the comments for that. Okay, because I do I want to know the answer. Well, some girls were like, oh, I don't wait, it's just a vibe. And girls, 100% agree with you, But then how it's does... But hold on, but... It all goes inside with what does that go into? It, okay, just the vibe. Sure, if you have a vibe of like let's hook up tonight, cool. But does that transpire into a relationship, a marriage, anything long lasting? And that's why, like in the podcast, I said because like, everyone says to wait. Remember in the podcast, I specifically remember saying like, "Well, I actually like him, so I do want to wait." Because yeah. if I liked you, like, there's been plenty of guys where I'm like, "Oh, you're... she didn't." Huh? I didn't want wait. I waited four dates. No, you did not wait four dates. I did. It was supposed to be after four dates. It was on the... (laughs) It was on the third, by the way. Sue me. It was on the third date, and she was supposed to wait until after four, a.k.a. meaning the fifth, okay? Sue me. Sue me. Because I've had several business meetings since. And they've been great, full of (laughs) flourishing ideas. No, it's... What's the ideas? No, I'm being sarcastic. Oh, I was like, wait, hold on. I I was like, this is new news. No, 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 no. Phenomenal business meetings. Lots of information gathered. Oh, so you're saying that his business cards are latex copy. Honestly, they're not Or sheepskin copy. um, (laughs) Phenomenal. He he runs a a tight ship. (laughs) He runs a FedEx? He runs... (laughs) No. A Kinko's? A Kinko's. The business boxes... I I came back three times. (laughs) (laughs) good for you no it was fun times i you know what's so crazy is i know for her obviously this is out of her realm like doing social media and talking about things but if i were to ever have these type of experiences or whatever she says oh there this is embarrassing that's embarrassing i don't take it as embarrassing because to be quite honest there's nothing that i wouldn't share i understand obviously everybody is different there's nothing that I wouldn't share online only because for those of you guys that have been watching my channel for a hot minute, you guys know that I literally look at you guys as friends. But there are some things that she shared with some people that she's talked to in the past. I said, oh, 
you shared that already. When it comes down to actually talking to somebody, there's a lot of things I won't say for a while. Like, I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I have a very, um, uh, how do we, how do you say it? Tumultuous relationship with my mom, right? And my ex did not know about it until we were literally over a year. Over a year. It took me a while to open up. But would I open up about that on social media? Yeah, I would. Because I think there's a lot more people, obviously, that can relate out yeah. there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think what it is, too, is for me, it's really hard to, like, open up about, like, oh, I have this type of relationship with my mom or whatever. Because a lot of people will weaponize things that you say. Like, if she were to sit here and say, like, oh, like, this about my dad, that about my dad. Do you know how easy it would be to be, like, you have daddy issues. You have this. You you know what I mean? Yeah, so I don't. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm, like, I don't trust people when it comes down to it. But when it comes down to social media, I know that there is way more people out there that will relate to me versus one single person who can use that as a weapon to fuel their anger towards me and be, like, you're this way because of this this and this i'm like i don't need a diagnosis Gross, you know appeals no when i said embarrassing what i literally meant because i told you how i like i said i don't like none of my people know that i have a podcast i don't tell anybody my friends my family literally i haven't told anybody and it's not that i'm worried or anything like oh, that me. but then it's like i told you how i slipped and we were like chopping it up me and dallas were like tipsy and i told Five. him Okay, me and five. We'll change it back to five. <laughs> we, I told him that I was on my friend's podcast. So, like, minimized it. And he was like, well, what is it? Show me the episode. And I was Everyone's like, going to be curious. No. Every single person and that... And he I- said... I'm gonna find it. So that's why I was like, oh my god, I would, I, I wouldn't be embarrassed. Like I say what I say. I don't care. It's just, I don't know. I just don't want. I'm my homegirls can watch all day. I just don't want like some dude. I'm not yeah. gonna watch it. Well, and I, I told her this before mom. too. When I'm on dating apps or whatever, like I don't ever. If somebody asks for my Instagram because I don't have a burner account, well, not a burner, but I don't have like a, a, a personal. Account. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm like, oh, I, I don't have that. Instagram. I asked you that because I always would wonder, like, what, like. Okay. And I tell them I don't have Instagram. But I then don't. you do get the rare occasion or not rare so often, like that people do know who you are right off the top. But those are not people trying to get at me. Well, they're just excited because you're skeleton. Stupid. The today I'm at the store far as fuck and I'm like, skeleton! Don't play with she me. She literally will. is embarrassing. But you're honestly not. I had another friend who you I may... Who... This friend may have been inside you. I mean, been with you before who used to do the same thing too. Maybe on New Year's of 2022. Oh. Um, not your fingers. <laughs> I don't... I'm sorry. Oh, she would scream your... Um, they would scream your name. <laughs> not her saying she. I did not. I said friend, okay? I'm just saying. I mean, come on. New Year's is the drunkest holiday of them all. Oh, I wish you guys can have a vision of our last New Year's. I sent you the video, and I only sent it to you because I was in the what back. What video? Like the like oh the recap just yep, like a yep, whole yep, panel yep, 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 yep. and I was like dude I was gone I was gone I don't want I have to tell you guys everything that happened that night not even just including you everything that happened that night could have been made into a reality TV series for one whole season I wish I would it could have been for that it night. could have been thirteen <laughs> episodes that night was yeah. so How bizarre so insane like just. <laughs> Girl. Well, we'll just say that was my first lesbian experience. <laughs> Not yeah. even just that, though, but I was literally thinking about, like, her sister was so tipsy, and then, like, her friend was like, is she usually like this? I mean, you, yeah, leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with her? <laughs> she's she's literally she's hunched. Fine. She's hunched over throwing up. <laughs> is she usually she's like fine. this? Like, yeah, she's <laughs> Get her water. She's okay. Does she need another drink? Get her pozole. She needs pozole. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, um, honestly, I am so sorry to do this. We have to take a, a commercial break because we have so many sponsors. Cardi B sponsored us today. Mm-hmm. Starbucks um, sponsored us oh, today. Oh, no. It wasn't Car- uh, Cardi B that sponsored us. It was Offset. Offset oh, said, you guys need a did. sponsor. He was so. like, get this shit on your shitty podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, wait, um, if you guys know Nikki, can you ask her for a feature no, and then do Lord. a um, shout out of whip shots? We're doing so. whip shots off my tits when no, we get back. Right when we get back, we will be trying whip shots. But I do have to take a small break because my phone is on the floor. My drink is empty. and this Your bladder's the... full. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Before we go, we tried our hardest, and I do mean hardest, <laughs> to make this festive. <laughs> Okay. As we're in no, all... no, 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 no. Stop it right there. We did. We okay. went to how many stores? Uh, this morning. We went me to and three him stores. had a business meeting, no business boxes, just meetings. Biz- and a real business and meeting. And I 
we called each other and we're like, okay, so this is our, our Christmas episode. Yep. We're going to get antlers. We're going to get peppermint shots. We're going to be snowman Santa ready. Santa has. I literally we was going to buy a cookie stores. making kit. We went to three stores. Granted, it is December 15th. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do know that. I'm well aware. We couldn't find one antlers hat. Uh, nothing. Decor. Nothing. So, so. And we were going to wear at least festive shirts or something, but then I realized that I don't have any because I'm not festive. But, no. but if our podcast grows, we will be festive. I told her I would love it. Yeah, like, we're oh, going to wear Easter dresses if it comes to. Like, don't I play. will dress. I will literally dress up as the Easter bunny. I'm not kidding. We I'm can, not kidding. We can find that costume. Okay, yeah. we got... Okay, so new goal set. Easter, Easter. bunny. Easter. I'll be a chick. Don't well, you play. got the Easter bunny, so I'll be the Easter Man, bunny. Man, I got no yeast infection. You know, one thing about me is I'm clean, girl. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you can be clean and have a Easter. People are going to be offended over that. They you are. Already just know take it. your antibiotics and leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Well, men have yeast infections, too. Never heard of that. It's just that when, yes, I, when I leave the gym, I take my panties off and I shower. So that's how I personally avoid Easter bunnies. This is the first time that I've ever heard you say you wear panties. To the gym? Period. To the gym, yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always wear Chinese <laughs> fish. Like... It's a joke. Anyways, we're going to take our little intermission right here. We'll be right back with the hot topics. And we are back with our um, peppermint whip shots and my watermelon. Truly, I am not mixing these two together. <laughs> Although... You're gross. I'm going to try it. 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 Whatever. I'm adventurous. Whoa, the country that we're going to, I will be adventurous and I will try things. Mm -hmm. Except me. I'm so sorry, but people... Oh, I will. Hold on. People think that I gave up eating meat because I'm like trying to save the animals and whatnot. And I'm like, I'm an animal myself, so I don't really give a shit. <laughs> it's actually Just not. meat grosses me out. I feel that. It's always grossed me out. Yeah. So I'm like, it's been six years and five months since I've eaten meat. And I, I'm never going back. I'm sorry. And I'm not trying to be rude. PETA, don't come for me. It's not because I'm trying to save the animals. It's just because I don't. Meat grosses me out. It, yeah. And I used to order Big Macs and put McNuggets in between the Big Macs. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I love a Big Mac. And I look back on my video. I have videos of doing that. Really? I was unhinged before it was cool to be unhinged. <laughs> on no, I'm serious. I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm, I, I was telling her before, I was like, not me having 22 million views on 9gag before that was even, like, a thing. Like, people looked at me like I was so fat and disgusting. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh, you know? And they still look at me the same way. <laughs> and I don't okay. care. Anyways, okay. um, we're going to follow these instructions with you guys because I don't want anybody in the comments Get saying, you're your doing it wrong. Out, girl. So this is what it says right here on the first one. It says directions. Slap it. Turn it upside down. Slap it until you, you feel your it, whip you shots. You can slap it. You can whip it. You can ride it inside it what that's a Nicki minaj song and this is oh Cardi B. god you know what you just started god. Mm -hmm. i started the b for the century you know what bothers go me though about park. what bothers me about what? people <laughs> go to the park <laughs> we're gonna get into that comment right there what bothers me about people though is they take celebrities so serious like they write yes! about, like i'm like i'm like they're just people you know you know i love Nicki. i am willing to spend the most money i have oh ever gosh. spent on a person to go to Nicki's concert yeah at the end of the day, do you think if she was like honestly, fuck Nikki, I hate her. She's this, this, that. Do you think I'm a fighter? Are you gonna cut, like, are you gonna cut me off? Yeah, I'm like I literally, don't. Literally, I, I don't care. Literally, people gonna... are people are insane. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so then after that, it says shake it, keep upside down, shake it up and down until you hear your whip shots go fluid. Period. Well. Yeah. And then it says whip it, remove cap, turn all the way upside down, and press the nozzle at an angle. Okay, so flip it upside down, slap it. Yeah. yeah oh, never mind. YouTube will block that. You can't make any. <laughs> you can't make, make sounds. You can't make sounds like you're but there was a massage. But there was a man who, dead ass, if you know, you know, spread his whole clappers with the whole chocolate starfish showing and showed everyone how to nair. And the whole. Hole was on YouTube. I think it's still there. And you can't say the F word? Which one? That ends with God? Oh. No, no, the F U. I'm on. Oh, actually, no. I said fag one time before, and then people said I have internalized homophobia. Well, I know you do. <laughs> 
Uh, my whole thing was, and I dead ass was like, I was like, bitch, I'm taking the power. Dude, back. you already know how I feel about people. Yeah, and don't get me started. Labels. Oh, by God. the way, it literally says don't refrigerate. I know your first Which thing. Which is weird because it's, the same thing when when we got it off the shelf. What do you mean? What off the it, shelf? It wasn't in the fridge. No, like at the store, we grabbed it off the end cap of the aisle, and I was like, this should be low key. Like, I feel oh, like Oh, okay. Fridge. I was like, what do you mean? It's, yeah. what kind of milk is it if it's not dairy? What's in um, the it says It says a milk derivative. No, don't like that. I don't like that. Mm-mm. I do. Oh, milk only, please. Don't play with me. Mm. Oh, it says StarcoBrands.com. What's Starco? Oh, so, see, so Cardi doesn't fully own it. I was so curious. I'm just so I curious. I knew she didn't. Well, you never know. I just feel like it I takes knew a lot. she didn't know. That. Okay, anyways, let me slap She's it. We got, we're face. getting into a shot right here. Slap it. Okay, then shake it. Whip it and ride it, and you can slip. Oh wait, it should I slap it again? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. For those of you that have not tried whip shots, low key, it is kind of like a lot of work. I like them. Don't get me wrong, but it's like fuck. Because if you don't follow the instructions, it will squirt out like just liquid, and it's like ugh, you don't get the full effect. I you feel know like what I my mean? My issue was the fourteen ninety nine. You know what? Me just gagging right now just reminded me of something earlier. And yes, I will put you on blast. Me? She, yes, I will. On this podcast right now, I will put you on blast. I'm literally trying to like think of what I did today. You should. I almost threw up on the phone. I almost chunks almost flew out of my oh, mouth. Oh, I was at Starbucks. God she, forbid. She, the same cup. She was. And at I got Starbucks. me a venti ice cream tea. Hold the sweetener because I was gonna stick my finger somewhere and stir it in my tea and make it sweet. She literally and he said, died. "I'm." She literally said, "I'm being a healthy girl. I'm not gonna get sweetener. I'm just gonna stick my finger in the business box and then dip it in my finger to stir, stir it, it to make it sweet." When I tell you, chunks almost flew across my room. I was like, "Hello." I was like, <laughs> "Dramatic." Big deal. Ma'am, that's dramatic. No. I like how we were walking out of Walmart and I was like, she's not stealing anything. It's just her fufa. <laughs> <laughs> not the man laughing, though. And the man not the like, man laughing. Uh, and I was like, okay, well, we know it'll work. You could tell that he's just a little, like, he's antisocial, so he... Well, he's working the 9 p.m. Walmart shift at the door. Like, I used to all. love when Walmart was 24 hours. Absolutely. Me and your sister would drink a 36-pack of beer, walk to Walmart, walk, yes. From here? Yeah. Man, that's only one mile. It's literally one you mile. You would walk to Walmart from here? Yes, while well, we were drinking our drinks. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding. Ask her. You would take roadies? I would take a backpack. <laughs> Something <laughs> is. I never knew that. You never knew that. I ne. There's not a chance in hell I would walk to Walmart with you from here. It's actually, to be honest, you can ask Siri or do it on your directions. It's actually less than one mile. Don't care. Not walking it to was Walmart. Fu- First of all, we were like 22. Guess I'm not the fun. Okay, well, I guess that's different. What did you think this was last year? <laughs> Maybe like three. Years. I don't. I don't no, know. No, no, no. We, like we were like twenty-two. Yeah, we were like twenty-two. Okay, I get it. Twenty-two. You have nothing going on in your life. But... Well, we would walk around Walmart and we would just like read the magazines and whatnot. It was it was a good time. Yeah, that and... sounds great. Well, remember I told you about that guy who I had hooked up with at the park when he was like, "Can I take you to Walmart?" I got yeah, excited. Yeah. I was like... No, we remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, shake, hit, slap, shake. I think you just gotta shake the shit out of it. Oh, it's oh, yeah. so. I was gonna. Is, I, know, I, was I was like, like do my famous. Oh fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> We're canceled. Oh my god. YouTube is just so. Uh, you know what bothers me about the world censorship? Like stop. Like. I'm sorry, Korea. Well, like, where do we live? Ma'am, that's exact. Well, everyone does say I do look like Kim Jong Un. I've been told that a couple times. With the little hair. And I was like, oh, I wish I grew that much hair. <laughs> but no, they CGI'd my back hair onto my head and then said I look like him. And I was like, oh, oh okay. Oh makes sense. Gosh, I can't. Okay, who's taking the first one? Me. This pillow princess. Me. This peppermint pillow princess. Me. I was telling her, and I'm no design expert, but this should have been in the shape of a candy cane. Don't yeah, that out there. you didn't let me know. Like, why is it just red? Okay, don't ready? Go, okay, don't play with me. <gasps> we did it right. Okay, I'm doing it. Oh, that's bomb, girl. That's good. That's good. Girl, that's good. I told you I love peppermint. Give me another one. Oh my god. Hold on, wait. Will it, will shake it? it. I know I'm like, shake it, shake it, shake it. 
That's good. This is the best. It's thick. It's like a perfect. It's better than whipped this cream. This is the best one that I've tried so and far. And the peppermint isn't like overwhelming. I love peppermint. It's like a little. Oh, that's. No, I'm getting. It's getting more pepper, pepperminty in my mouth. Try it. Oh, I need another. Oh, see, so you gotta redo the instructions. Damn it. I would. Oh, I, I was like, I want another one of those ones. You love it? I love it. I'm like, girl, I need to try all of them. I'm gonna try the caramel one. The caramel one actually was my favorite before. Because okay. the vanilla, honestly, not me maybe, spitting okay, everywhere. Okay, maybe in New Year's we'll try the caramel <gasps> one. No, I, this is better. The peppermint. But I just want to try the different flavors, but that's fire. I have to let that you guys know. Great. Wait, I'm gonna end up blacked out. <laughs> I have to get ready for oh, my trip tomorrow. Oh, there's a lot of alcohol in here? No, it's only 10%. 10% for what? Like a squirt? Well, like, I don't know, 10% in general. Like, whatever the serving size is, you know what I mean? Like, like with, with a shot of vodka, it's 40% within that shot of vodka. But what do people drink this with? Like on top Rum chata. A lot of people do rum chata shots. And I do have to... I was telling her, I love a rum chata shot, but there's something about rum chata specifically. I've tried all the whip shots. They don't make me have to go to the bathroom. These are good, girl. Uh, man. These are vodka infused. Look, girlies. Why That's, isn't it focusing? My face is... There we go. Why is it your face? Because it has a face ID. Okay, there you go, girls. Oh. That, that's good. That's I like it. Phenomenal. Do that's phenomenal. Do me one more. Be, that's the <laughs> best. <laughs> Do me one more. No, literally. Because, well, hold on. You have to like peppermint, though. Because Rosa was like, before, she was like, ew, because I love peppermint patties. The sugar-free Russell Stovers. For sure. And she's like, ew. York patties, the ones that gave at Olive Garden. <gasps> Give me the peppermint patties. Actually, but. she's not the first friend. There was another friend, I can't remember who, that told me, like, ew, you like chocolate mint? And I'm like, chocolate mint is phenomenal. Don't, Don't play. play. Don't I feel play. like it's the same thing with mustard. I mean, do people love it or freaking hate it? I love mustard. Period. No play. Oh, my. I have to take... That's good. I <laughs> it's so it. good. Wait, this is the first time in history that I've tried these that it's actually coming out perfect. It's creamy. Yes. This is the first time. Because I think we followed the instructions so good. The texture, I feel like it's like... um, It's better than like a Ready Whip. You know what I mean? That's just fire. Okay, Cardi. You're on to something. We should have never... We should have never got that because we're going to finish that bottle. I just know it. And I like how I'm going to bust open a Truly right now. Honestly? Oh. That's... I'm like, do you want to lick it up my titties? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done that a few times. One of the girls in the comments is like, I understand why you guys get mixed up as a couple. No, everyone like, thinks we're a couple. Explain Everyone. Me. I don't know. I think it's just because we're so chill, Bill. But then it's like... If I you feel like we kind of look alike, though. Yeah, I feel like I just... We look like we could be related. I don't know. When... I don't know. Which just, is weird to me. Anyways, like... why am I so mind blown? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, like These I are really bomb. No, I really like the caramel ones, but it was such a it was such a activity to try to get it to come out with creamy. But I think because you just bend I, it. yes, like I don't know, but it's like I wouldn't like I was telling you earlier. I don't like my liquor with like milk. So it's like, what do you? But that's not milk though. No, like, but with the caramel, with all the flavors, what do you do besides just pouring your throat? Because I'm not putting this in my Beverly. Beverages. You said My Beverly. <laughs> oh, that makes me want to go to WeHo. We haven't been to WeHo in so long. Oh my god, have you guys been watching 90 Days? <gasps> have you guys been watching 90 Day Fiance? I have, the, the, What I, is it called? I flipped her. 90 Day the other way. What this, is wrong with these people? Hold on, hold on. This bitch used to talk shit about reality TV shows. <laughs> she started coming over to my house. and All I do is text you when I'm at work about reality TV. Hold on. I woke up this morning. To like 10. Literally. One was something else, but there was like four long ass messages. When I say long, I was like, damn, I was like I'm going to change your contact name to JK Rowling. Damn. At the end, I was like, sorry, I had to get it out. <laughs> it was so, I was like, damn. And this is coming from the bitch who had said, before i hate reality tv <laughs> yes and like she wasn't even into that tv type of shit period no. but as soon as she would come over because like every single time she'd come over i'd be like okay like let's have a couple drinks before we go whatever you know mm -hmm. and reality tv would be on and of course would be 90 day fiance mm -hmm. and now she's obsessed Jeez. i was on the phone with her mom the other day <laughs> For a good 15, she 16 minutes. And she was like, wait, Tim knows all about this. And I was she like. She literally called you. I know all the 90 And I was like in the living room and I was like. 
I know she, and I'm texting you. I know she didn't call you. <laughs> yeah, I literally was texting her too. I was like, OMG. But I said, not a problem. I can talk about 90 Day Fiancé all day. All day. day. <laughs> Did I ever tell you before that I had told them on a live that I wanted to start, and this is years ago, for those of you that know, no. I have wanted to start a 90 Day Fiancé podcast. Girl. Solely about 90 Day Fiancé. Oh, we're going to do that on but, our own. But on they our came own. out with Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is where old cast members react to the newer shows. So I was like. Well, we can react to the shows. Girl, I'm more relatable. Don't Dude. play. Dude. I am so sorry, but why do I feel like that got to me? <laughs> yeah. No. Wait, are you, do you feel it? Because yes. I was like, wait, I don't feel that buzz. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa. Cardi was on to something because she got that ultra premium vodka with natural flavor, certified color, and caramel color, 10% alcohol. Why does it have caramel color, though? It's pink. I don't know. But you said caramel color? It says it on the can. That's weird. I'm like, fourteen ninety nine is a lot, but honestly, I think it's just an experience. In it's can. an experience. It's I an experience. I feel like it's, maybe it's meant to be sexual. Ma'am, it's all over your boobs and it looks very inappropriate. It looks like you... You know I got a oh, business meeting after this. Oh, ma'am, you just spread it. Oh, Whatever, I don't care. Well, um, it's good. Do you want another one? Yeah. I like it. I just... Wait, I love it, to be honest. I like it a lot, actually. Oh. Oh, ma'am. Yeah, see, you have to shake it good because I don't know if you guys see. If you don't shake it good, then it goes like... It's good, huh? Isn't that crazy? But my issue is why can't you refrigerate it? No. The peppermint, honestly, is the best. Like, I li I really like the caramel flavor. Caramel. Oh, I forgot. Actually, on Thanksgiving, I did try the, uh, there was a key lime one. This Thanksgiving? This you Thanksgiving. You tell me. Ma'am, I was so drunk. My brother, oh. my brother was my, um, DUI. Oh, and you. I mean. <laughs> No, you didn't. My DD. Okay, so just to be clear, between the two of us, we have a total combined of zero DUIs. Thank you. Literally. Thank literally. you. Yeah. Check our info. I was trying to think of the name. Jeez Louise. Wait, I'm not kidding you guys, and I swear to God, I mean Yeah, this. I think we're done with the whip shots. No, I'm not done, because that's dangerous, because They're it delicious. tastes so good that I'm like... They're, I think I like the texture. It's yeah, like the texture is great. And it melts in your mouth. Like, oh you don't need to drink when you're drinking those. Hey, those are wild. I, honestly, Roshan, I didn't think I would like them. But now that I know one that it's not dairy. I told you while we were in there. I was like, honestly, the caramel, I really loved the flavor of the caramel one. It was just such a process. Like, it was squirting. Like, literally squirting. I, I like, think we just are, like, level-headed enough to, like, shake, 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 Yeah, shake. honestly, I will say this. Every time that, even, actually, even when I tried the key lime one, I was literally already tore Key lime, though? I think I would funk with that. I think I would like that. I'm going to be honest. I don't remember okay, cool. how it was. Okay, so you don't hate it. You just don't remember. Yeah, I don't. Okay, good. I'm t well, I went th I went there to my aunt's house. with. I literally already told Nate. I was like, you're driving home because I'm blacking Who out. Who had the whip shot? They were already there? Yeah. Oh, my okay. cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. we got to get us a new flavor because I like the whip shot. I do well. have to say, though, chair. like $15. It's a lot. And the bigger can was 24 like, I can buy me a bottle of Tito's. Actually, to be honest, you guys saw how much we drank of this already, and I feel it lighter. Feel it. Like, literally, you feel it lighter. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's I'm a, like... Yeah. Which which sucks, but I do have to say, though, like, if you're an adventurous drinker, that's... Hey, these are good, though. <gasps> speaking of... Ad hold drink. on. Oh, speaking of adventurous drinkers, they had boba alcohol. Oh, we... <gasps> for our New Year's, because we're popping in a New Year. We're, I'm gonna I'm buy it. I'm gonna buy the boba. I have never. It was never, at Total Wine. Okay, we'll at go Total buy it then. Wine, they had multiple flavors of boba but wait, alcohol. So, okay, so the cup was like this week with the boba in it. We just drank the cup. I have a picture. Do you? Yes, so I have a picture. So we just drink from the. I've never in my life seen boba alcohol. And it was right under the the whip shots. Yes, it's called it's called boba pops, uh, cocktail caviar. It's only twelve point five percent. But girls are popping. Oh, ma'am. Why is that $22? It's okay. It? I'll still it's buy okay. it for you guys. It, $22? Oh, so I'll be negative $73? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we need... 
We need you guys to like and subscribe. Like well, and subscribe. <laughs> don't play. No, we have to try the bubble. Okay, though. we'll do that then for New Year's. <gasps> That's going to be our whole new podcast. It's trying just keep different trying alcohols. different alcohols. They're like, oh my God. They're like, what do you mean new? Y'all been drinking it. <laughs> so. Well, I've ne- first of all, well, peppermint's new. I have tried whip shots, but I've never tried boba. Honestly, though, that was good. I like That's it. great. That's yeah, great. I like it. Anyways, I'm so sorry. Okay, but to ring in the new year, after that, we can't make any guarantees. I'm sorry. I'm poor. I'm literally poor. For it to ring in the new year, because, you know, you bring it in with a bang. We're trying this boba. Let me see. Do you like boba? Yeah, it funks with boba. Look how many different flavors they have. They do have, it's orange, blue, And pink. raspberry. <gasps> Girl. We're I'm kind of excited. Oh, Actually, my God. Actually, yeah, I'm so curious what they're going to taste like. The, the boba balls, you know? My whole thing is if it squirts in my mouth, I'm not a fan. I know you like that. I prefer, like, my face, but that's okay. Oh. I prefer it in my hair. AKA, <laughs> don't have any. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the hot topics. I know. I'm sorry for those of you that clicked on this video for the hot juicy tea. It took us a minute to get here, but you have to understand, <laughs> this is our last episode of the year, and we are starting off 2024. Oh, we're going to tell, you got to tell them now that they need to submit their questions. <gasps> oh, no, no. We're going to start that in when we, when we get... We're going to, you guys will see on our new channel, we have a whole plan. And I have to say, I'm so, I have never been so excited. Me too. For a plan. It's going to be a hit. I don't give a shit what. E- even if it's not a hit, it's going to be a hit. Like, honestly, <laughs> I, I literally. I'm, the delusion. Just, yeah, in my head, it's going to be a hit. I'm strong. I don't give a shit. It's going to be. I don't care either. It's going to be great. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and get into the hot topics. I do have to tell you guys. Um. <laughs> this is gonna be the longest podcast we've ever filmed because so. we have a lot. We have okay. a lot to talk about. Yeah. The very first thing that I want to talk about that I have not told you about is: Did you see that Britney Spears had made a, a post about Justin Timberlake? <laughs> no, I didn't. You need to explain your face because you look very bothered like, and irritated. Well, well and... The, well, the first thing is because you she Br- made a post, and I'm like, what is she posting? Well, she makes she makes three posts every day. Like her videos, I separate that. But if like it's a post, like with text. Yeah. No, I'll read I'm it. I'm not here I'll for read that. It. And then if it's about it's Justin deleted. Like, it is. See, it and is. that's another it thing. Is. That's another thing that I hate. Don't delete it. Don't delete it. Well, to my understanding, she deleted it. And I'll explain this, okay? okay well, hold on. Before we get into that, I like how I took a screenshot of her actual page. <laughs> yeah. Because do you know why? I'm so confused. She changed her name on Instagram to Maria River Red. Jeez Louise. That sounds like a hotel in Laughlin. <laughs> <laughs> like what? It really does. It's like what's going on? The Don Laughlin River. Jeez, the... let me see. It literally. It, this Her is... picture's like this. Like R- Rosie the Riveter, maybe. Oh, maybe that's. What's Rosie the Riveter? Like the chick with the the like the old school World War Two. Women II. can do it. Yes. That's oh, Rosie they the just Riveter. were selling those. Um, how do you call them? Yeah, those. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, we're, we're just that right now. I literally was, I was going to tell you, 99 cent store, oh. that paper towels, paper towels, that literally had her, I didn't know that was It wasn't Bronnie, the Bronnie man? No, it was the woman. Her name's Rosie the Riveter, and that was like her thing. I think she, okay, cancel me if I'm wrong. I think she had something to do with like women empowerment during the World War times. I don't know which war, because I'm ignorant, but... It's not that, hold on, I hate when she says that she's ignorant. It's not that, it's because we're uneducated. I just, I like, I'm learning, I learn about it. Ma'am, I have a 4.0 at San Diego State. I have other shit going on in my life. Well, hold on, and on top of that too, people will call you ignorant when I barely, barely learned what a they, them was, literally. I don't know what the plus stands for in LBGQ, TRS plus. Kill me. Wait, there's a plus in it? I'm, I'm gay and I don't know what the plus is. Yeah, like... It's just I didn't take the time to educate, but I know that that's what she means. She was like women empowerment, something along those lines. Well, my she whole thing, my whole point on. of what I was getting at is we weren't educated. We grew up in ninety and ninety one. I don't. This is they never taught me about. I never. Okay, maybe they taught me. I didn't learn about the world wars. <laughs> I, wait, no, they did. Like, teach, maybe no, they, they did, did teach us about world wars. I just, didn't. but I don't remember Rosie the River. I'm just like teach me about credit, filing my taxes, teach me about important shit. Thank you. Well, I used to be in home ec, but I got kicked out. I wish I would have took that. That's cute. What school did you go to? What What do you mean? What grade? I said, what school did you go to? I, in what level? What grade level? High school. Sorry. Um, I graduated from Lakewood. 
Oh, that's right. Okay, but we didn't go there together. Oh, okay, no, okay, okay. Didn't. I was like, wait, I'm confused. Because I took home ec there. Mm-mm. I got kicked out. Do you guys want to know the tea? And this yeah, is not a this is way. not a joke. I will bring my cousin. Actually, no, never mind. She lives in Vegas now. But I was gonna say I will bring my cousin on. She, she my cousin, always... used to date the home ex teacher's son. And honestly, I thought that he was so nice. Miss Reed, yes, I'm talking to you, Miss Reed. Always... I don't care. I no, don't. Ca- I don't you care. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. I don't care. So, my cousin used to date his son, and she would treat me like gold. And I would do no work, no homework, nothing, right? And my cousin was like, I'm sorry, but, like, I, I don't, like, he, he's annoying. I don't like No, him. wait till, wait till June, bitch. Why? Well, no, I, I, no. I, well, I'm encouraging my cousin. Yeah, leave him, leave him. She broke up with him, and my teacher was being, Miss Reed, such a bitch to me after that. Are you that. kidding me? I'm not, I'm not kidding. Literally ask my cousin Renee. Literally ask her. And then after that, I was like, why are you being so aggressive towards What'd me? What'd you say? Well, she was, are you actually coming to class today to do something or are you just going to sit there? And I was like, oh, that's funny because for the first two semesters, you were giving me an A for doing nothing and now you're coming at me sideways? Because your son's not getting wet? Well, literally. And I was sitting here thinking like, yes, I know I'm a loser. Like, I know I'm a failure. <laughs> I like, But you knew that already and I was getting an A. So all of a sudden, all of a no. sudden it's a problem, no. right? So anyways, I ended up getting kicked out of her class. That. Yeah, I ended up getting kicked out of her class. Mm-mm. I mean, I don't blame her, but I should have been kicked out like the first half of the first semester. Do you know what I mean? Like, where she gave you a lot of leeway <laughs> yes. until there wasn't no leeway left to give. Yeah. Well, actually, when my cousin had said, like, oh, like, this is my cousin, she gave me a hug. I should, su- <gasps> I should sue. I should sue. The, the teacher hugged me. I should sue. That's slander. <laughs> and that's inappropriate. And yeah. we're ready for more <laughs> shots. Oh my god, I got in your shirt. Take it off. Take the shirt off. <laughs> so oh so I got kicked out I got kicked out of my home ex class. Now you want to kick it out of YouTube? <laughs> really? Did I get it too? You're this is why you is are not hair? responsible enough to be in control of the whip shots. No, okay, let me, let me Anyways, no, what was the point of my story? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about school. Oh, so anyways, every single time that she, I'm, I'm ignorant. It's like I don't can. You, I think you're ignorant when, say, for example, there's something that is a general known, right? But everybody has so become so well, loosely I think, yeah, the termed. Yeah, they're gonna ignorant. call me ignorant yes. because like, I don't know about. Hold on, for example, this. for example, there was recently. Um, Trisha Paytas, for example, was talking about like, oh, I, I had posted a, a picture of my Starbucks drink and everyone's like, oh my God, they support this, this, and this, and this, and this. And they start attacking her and calling her Sue ignorant. Me, Starbucks. Yes. It's like, how are you supposed to know what everything is? Mm-mm. Do you think that the human knows everything about no. everything? Like, girl, no. come on. No. So I don't. Oh my god, it's getting on the curtains. Okay, so our only backlash about the wave shots. It's messy. Oh, we're supposed to. Oh, you gotta... Okay, we're learning, girls. We're learning together. You put the <laughs> lid on when you shake it. Girls, we're learning together. I'm so sorry, but this is about to be the littest I've ever been on a podcast. Yeah, no, I think so. Oh, but I'm kind of... I kind of love it. Shot time. <laughs> that took a while, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's losing its flavor. <laughs> I mean, not flavor. Pizzazz. That's good though, girl. Mm. That's Christmas in a bottle. Mm. Anyways. Ain't it good? I didn't even get to the post about Britney Spears. <laughs> this is what you guys subscribe to. <laughs> it's the last one on here. A little, well, um, we never know. Hold on. No, I'm not saying that. Let's what? keep it real. The next one could be just it's as just messy. It's just that all day, like from the morning since I dated you, I was like, well, I was just like, I'm just ready to go today. <laughs> and you told me the same thing back. I haven't drank in one whole week for everyone that thinks that I'm an alcoholic. I haven't drank in one whole week. So. And I haven't drank in. Nah, let's not go there. But I, I just woke up and I was like, dude, I'm I'm ready to go today. Yep. You guys and should be we happy. Going. We're having a slumber party. We're, going to we're having girl. We're... Don't you worry. No DUIs. Yes. <laughs> no DDs. <laughs> Don't you worry. My brother was the DUI. <laughs> I know, I could have pissed myself, bitch, literally. Anyways, okay, You're sorry. You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> stupid. 
Oh okay, read gosh. me Brittany's post about Justin Timberlake. Go on, anyway, close my eyes. So this is what it, I just literally took just a small little screenshot from Jeez, TMZ. Oh, and it says, the pop star took to Instagram Friday to throw some shade at the suit and tie singer. Without naming names, she writes, I never mentioned how I beat him in basketball and he would cry, dot, 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 no disrespect. So I went back to look oh, at... Oh, God. <laughs> I mm-hmm. went back to look at, like, what the post was because I was so curious. And I couldn't find the post. I It could still be there. She makes a lot of posts. A lot. Girl. Within the past five days, I want to say there was about 15 posts. I'm like, girl, within the past 15 years, I only made two. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. I'm like, girl. Oh, Lord, that yeah. poor woman. Yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to read that because I know that you, um, she is a um, hardcore Justin Timberlake stan. It's not even that. He, she could be writing about whoever. I don't even care at this point. She's like, what What the hell are you talking about? I'm glad, though, that people are finally on board with She Needs Help. And it's not that us. Well, I don't want to cancel her. I love her. She's legit. She's been through too much, etc. But she deserves a hairdo, and she deserves freedom. <laughs> if you guys watched the podcast before, not this bitch saying, her dog has better hair than her. Was I wrong? Did you see the poodle? Actually, there was no comments that disagreed with you. Thank you. The poodle was shampooed, conditioned, haircut. No, my spears. Hold on, my mom. Blonde has, dreadlocks. My mom has been saying for years that someone needs to do her hair. Someone That's fix her hair. That's my thing, and I'm like, dude, her hair. It would make her feel so good. As a woman, you feel so good when you get. Your I don't hair think fresh. so. You know why? Because I think if someone like does her hair, she thinks that they're controlling her. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. I never thought about it. That, like, that I, I think Cause that... Because the clothes she wears, I'm just like, girl... What's up with them low-rise jeans? She, like, girl, girl they, where the hell are you buying those? Wait, I do want to know, though. Like, for anybody that knows, what razor does she use on her pubes? Because it's smooth. And don't ask me how I've known. You don't think she, like, waxes or lasers? Do y'all do that? Well, I don't do that, ma'am, but I think about I've it. I've had every inch of my body waxed, and I still get razor I never and... waxed or lasered. You've never waxed? Never waxed or lasered. My, like my eyebrows, but I get them threaded now. I've but had I, my I've gooch waxed. I've always wondered about... I've had my gooch waxed, and it still really? gets... Really? Yeah. I've always wondered, but it's just like, I don't have the patience to go do it. Well, but your hair is very straight. When I did have hair, it was very wavy. And even like my beard hair... What does that have to do with waxing or lasering? Because your hair is straight. If your hair is you curly... You my pubes? Yeah. Is your, are, are those straight? I have yeah, pictures. Oh, wait. I have pictures. All <laughs> the... <laughs> You no, know, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're they're straight. Oh, oh no, mine are. It your looks like a curly curly? fry from Arby's. Yeah, your pubes are curly. Yes, really? even even my chest hairs are. That's what I'm saying. That's I'm what like, I'm like, literally gonna look as soon as we <laughs> get off this. Just so strip down. I'm no, like, yeah. That's why know. I get so much like all these ingrowns and everything, even from here. <laughs> these are like cool though. Well, I shaved this, but yeah. oh yeah, look, 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 look. I look. told I told you. Oh, it literally, girl. yeah. Oh no, my pubes just go straight down. Oh, see, I oh no. I had it. I had it. Like my thing is like I'll just unless I'm active, I'm not shaving it. Like well, I'll do what you want. Me neither, girl. It's so been I had a whole for two years. freaking I had a whole event because I was gonna have a business meeting. Ma'am, you're telling me I've let my shit grow for two years, and now if you Google the Amazon rainforest, like it this. shows my. It's like this. <laughs> It's, uh, ma'am, that's way more straight than what I'm working with. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, but I do want to know, though, because she always wears those, like, low-rise jeans. Like, to the point of her cooter. Like, what's going on? But this is why I get irritated when people are like, oh, you're white. And people just think, like, oh, you're white because my name is Tim. You know? And I'm like, Tim, but e- ethnically speaking, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, I'm not really white like that. No, I feel like I'm more white than you, bitch. Well, you know, everyone's genetics are different. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, we are going to get into next Cardi B. I do want to say, um, after... <laughs> Girl, I didn't have four whip shots too many, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have This is my fourth time. Of... Actually, I have shared two bottles. Well, I would say maybe a bottle and a half. I think I'm just confused. Because, like, we're used to just, like, drinking seltzers. Yeah. 
it, this confuses, like, what do we do with this? We can't pour a drink. What do we do with this? Take a shot with that, it. Well, no, normally. I mean, I figured it out fairly quickly. I'm just saying. No, I but everyone normally does, like, little shots. Like, um, before I've seen people do it with even fireball. Put a fireball thing on top. No. I think it sounds no. nasty, but as soon as you do it, you know. Mm. Or, like, if you have a. Um, well, guess we don't know till next week when we try. <laughs> I'm down. I don't know. I just I don't know. I like it myself. Not I'm, be, I'm not me like oh, I don't want to burp in front of her face. I would. Um, no, but then also people too will do like flavored vodka with it as a shot. Like if you have you ever had like just, caramel flavored vodka and then no, do I just don't want that with any. Like it was cool by itself. I loved it by itself. I don't. Ma'am, think... I think that's. Can you imagine how that would have been on top of the peppermint rum chata? That would have been. Or like a little martini, like a flavored martini. It would have been great, know? girl. Anyways, yeah. Cardi B has confirmed, okay, you guys can look up the video if you want. We're not playing it here because we're a hot mess of a podcast and that's not what we do. Mm-hmm. We don't have mics, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she went onto her Instagram live and I do want to say this, first of all, today. she was she was already beefing with Nikki and I want to say this, okay, for the people out there who like, it bothers me so much because I love Cardi and I love Nikki. So I look at it at a very non-biased point of view. Nicki Minaj was going out here saying that it's messed up what Billboard is doing because Billboard had said that they're going to take away 100,000 units of her sales because she was promoting a contest for her followers, which there was no contest. She was just basically shouting out like, oh, send me your screenshot or whatever if you guys bought the album or whatever, then she's going to repost it. So Billboard contacted her and said, that's against the rules. You can't do that. So when it had came down to it, she was just saying that. And then Cardi B went on to the neighborhood uh, talk and, like, made this whole po- Actually, I sent you the whole post. You did. Let me go to the whole post because I was like, okay, girl, like, what? I was all confused, but then, like, it, it made sense afterwards. But I, I was super confused, too, only because the fact that I was like, wait, I literally am so nosy that I went to go look at Nicki Minaj's likes, like, tweets. And at the time, if you... Okay. If you guys look at it now, she did like a couple shady t- tweets towards uh, Cardi now. Okay. But at the time, well, and actually to be quite honest with you though, it's kind of like, okay, they're only liking the Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I was like, what do you mean? And then when you said it, I was yeah. like, oh. This was Cardi B's actual post on the Neighborhood Talk on Instagram. She said, please post who was liking shit with my name in it first. Please post how um, because of that I started getting dragged on Twitter about lies. Y'all always post my response, but never when I'm being antagonized and lied on. I was minding my business. WAP debuted at number one, and I teamed off with Cash App after to give away money for women who uh, was in need during the (laughs) pandemic. No mention or purchase of my music needed. Needed. I was to help them. Y'all keep poking at me with narratives, and then when I finally respond, I'm the issue. Keep my name out your mouth. What she's specifically re- re- uh, referring to is because people were pointing out, wait, but it was okay for Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion to team up with Cash App and whatnot to promote WAP to obviously, you know, generate sales. And it was after that they had already went number one, which is true, which is true. They already had went number one, but it still remains the fact of like, okay, this is your way of promoting it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I still feel like at the end of the day, it's kind of like, okay, don't you want your song to chart number one for weeks on weeks on weeks on weeks? You know, it's still going to benefit you. I don't feel like Nicki Minaj, and I didn't even think of that. I don't feel like her intent was to like buy buys or whatever. She was just retweeting people's things. But I think a lot of people don't understand that Cardi, uh, uh, Nicki Minaj just, she really... A lot of people have this misconception about Nikki that she's just such a bitch that she doesn't interact with her fans, but she really does. Yeah. But I say nonetheless, I do want to say this though. Nikki was not bringing up Cardi. She was not mentioning her. She was not saying this, this, or that. You know what I mean? Like, it was the whole situation. If you guys know the situation when it comes down to Lotto, when Lotto was in entered to the, uh, I forget what, what, what award was it? Was it the Grammys? I forget what award it was, but basically they put Lotto into the um, rap category and they put Nicki Minaj into the um, pop category. And that Nick, made no sense. Yes. And Nicki was like, wait, our songs, it was for Super Freaky Girl. I know that. I forget which Lotto song it was, but they were like, wait, hold on. Why is she in the rap category, but she's in the pop category? Like, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So Nicki had came out and said, wait, why is other songs like mine 
in the rap category, but I'm in the pop category because obviously it makes it more difficult to win that category because there's more people in the pop category than rap category. Yeah, we don't pick to hit the switch every time. It, literally, yeah. literally. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, it kind of I felt like was the same thing, but any which way, I do have to say I told her before, and I still stand by this. I think that Nikki and Cardi should team up on their own. I understand they have done a collab already together, obviously with Motorsport, but I think that they like, should do a video where they're like doing like sexual moves on each other oh like what you know that's like what i was about to say i was like that's megan no but they like, need a banger though they need a bang and they could come up with one. Oh, 100 percent 100 percent. i was telling her before i thought it would have been like low-key like iconic iconic if since Nicki minaj has been promoting her goddamn album for so long since i was she, 14 yeah <laughs> <laughs> if she would have put cardi on the album it would have broke the internet it's just a typical women just pride and like you know, they're not. But if they did, oh, gosh. That'd be it, it is pride, but then also I do get irritated. And I'm not even trying to be, once again, biased. But Nicki Minaj has worked with so many upcoming female rap artists. And people always paint her out to be. She doesn't support other or rap artists. What's the and I'm song like, that I like with the chick that we were Sexy watching? Red? No. Well, Ice yeah, Spice? period. Sexy Red. But the chick Bia? from... No, Bia? the one that we looked up on YouTube. The Weird Girl. With the hair shaved in the middle from the new album. Lourdes. Lourdes, Lourdes. from... Well, she's not a female rapper. I was talking about female oh, rappers. Oh, but what album? What, what song was that? Cowgirl. Okay, yeah, that girl. Never heard of her in my life. The yeah. song? Banger. Yeah. Like, well, she puts people on, but no, my whole thing is because they say in the industry that she doesn't work with other female rap artists. And Sexy she Red has, was nobody. Girl, she has worked with everything. Ice Spice was nobody. She worked with Cardi B before Cardi B blew up on Motorsport. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, you can't sit here and say this when she has all the track record to prove it. Like, she's worked with so I don't many think she's other. she's hating on these chicks. Yeah. So. I'm like, girl, you work with Bia. And then, oh my God, remember that girl? She created the number one song we... with. The, hold on. The girl that she created her number one hit with. Takashi 6 9 I That's... hate him, dude. He's... Oh, the girl. <laughs> Come on, Rainbow Bright. Girl. Um, can we do... Please just acknowledge the fact that Cardi B... When they were, like, beefing on the internet, Cardi B told her to go take her husband to a park. Yeah. Well, that's an ongoing joke, and I, I, I thought it was hilarious. I think it's an easy target. Well, of course, but I thought it was hilarious. You know what I think I is how come they funny. don't get on their songs and call each other out directly? When have you... You'll hear these subliminals from Nicki. You'll hear them from Cardi. But yeah. why don't you get... Because a lot of things rap with Cardi and a lot of... I rap. A lot of things rhyme with Cardi. But and Cardi, a lot of things rhyme with Nicki. Mm-hmm. Why um, aren't Miss they... Piggy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, that's true. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, when I texted you in the morning, I was like, what are they fighting about? I didn't even know. But Cardi's low-key going on it, though. Like, so, she was popping off about Offset on good, her live. Honestly, well, if she's done and she's truly done, good for her. But if she's not done and she's going to go back next month... Ma'am, Invasion of Privacy was low-key all an album about him. Like, he gave her, and I'm not saying that he did it for her, but he gave her the material to write about him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I'm like, the invasion of private, like, through your phone, be careful. We know that's a deep embedded in your heart, girl. We know. (laughs) She just physically touched me on camera. You, as soon as you win the lottery, you will get sued. You will get sued. I will disappear on your, I'll be like this, bye. (laughs) Don't, no, 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 leave the whip shots. (laughs) Anyways, next up on the list, oh, I did want to talk about this, Okay. Did you see that Matthew Perry's, um, um, how do you call it? Um, death came out? Like, uh, cause of death? Cause of death. No. Girl, this is what it says. I, I literally, I like how I just put the quote in there. It says, acute effects of ketamine. Ketamine. And the reason specifically why I tell her that is because we were watching Real Housewives of Miami and the girl Adriana went under they have this whole new thing now and i do have to tell you guys when i was a teen doing ketamine in raves underground raves back then people would do it was scary and now they have like medically settings yes medically induced ketamine trips to to acknowledge or address your trauma yes yeah yes and that was the cause of death it literally quote unquote says acute effects of ketamine what the fuck that's all it said yeah you got me so far messed up girl okay so because i'm dumb what does acute mean? Does that mean acute like... Acute means like some very, very small, very little. 
Oh, it doesn't mean like by proxy? Like, oh, it's just like... No, acute means like that's the way of saying small. If I'm not ignorant, I did take anatomy. Siri, what does acute mean? Uh-huh. What does acute mean? I like how... means sudden or severe. Acute symptoms appear, change, or worsen rapidly. Oh, okay, cool. So, so we're both wrong. Go ahead and cancel that. <laughs> cancel we are both that. wrong. So I'm sudden. not in the medical field. Sudden. Sudden. So sudden. But then I feel like Wait. acute... Um, no, I don't feel like I'm wrong. Don't. Wait, what did you say it was? I already forgot. She said sudden, but I feel no, like... No, I know that, but small. I said you. Oh, small? Oh. Well, whatever. Who gives a shit? Anyways. A sudden onset. Okay. Yeah. What did I learn that from? I'm embarrassed now. God. Who cares? Well... You know what I think you have to get comfortable with? Being wrong. Because I every... Never every, felt that. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> every single time I get on a podcast, I'm like, I'm wrong. I don't give I don't give a shit. I'm wrong. Okay, whatever. Well, I've only had 14 whip shots, so it's fine. <laughs> Wait, do you want to have 15? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shake your oh, heart, dude. Oh, no, no, no. I, I was yeah, I'm that. like, we don't need splats. We'll get into the next topic after. It's it's our holiday. I like how... This is our holiday <gasps> party. We're, this is our Christmas it's party, It's our guys. holiday party, and do you know what, what? the first thing of... My list was. What? Why'd you skip that? You're so rude. Oh my god, we're gonna go back to that. I literally because okay, You're we had this whole Christmas freak. idea in mind, so I had put on there like, "What is your Christmas wish list?" And I genuinely wanted you to ask this. Well, you didn't ask me. I literally didn't know that. Well, was before I give you this whip shot. My Christmas wish list. Like, what do you want? Like, if if you, you could mean have literally anything. Whether even like, if it, even if like it, I mean and I need to know my limits. Anything, anything. Like a healthy marriage. Oh, okay. Um, I'm over here thinking for materialistic. More kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, um, well, no, or materialistic, whatever. Sky's the limit. What's your Christmas wish list? Okay, I don't Damn, like this question. Yeah, think, I don't like this question. Take a shot then. Okay, now what is it? Just water it, girl. (laughs) Did you have to to spit it everywhere? That's watery. You didn't shake it hard enough, girl. Because you didn't... See, Santa didn't... Santa didn't give it to you because you didn't... Okay, come on. My Christmas wish list? What I literally asked... Well, my mom was the only one that asked me what I wanted. And I told her... I sent her a link to, like, a little watch I wanted. A watch... That's all you could think of. And why for- could, why could I sit here and make a whole video? I want a Rolls Royce. I want a Oh um, well that type of list. Girl, sky's want, the limit. I would love a, like a house. Like one story's cool, a couple bedrooms with a nice backyard. A pool would be cool. Oh just cool. you know, but I think the backyard is my vibe because me and you talked about this before. Oh, I love a backyard. As much as we love to hit the streets, oh. I feel like if I had a nice if house had a and a backyard a and like a whole setup, I would never have to leave my house. I think that would be lovely, Santa. Um, uh, flourishing, acute relationship <laughs> would be <laughs> a sudden relationship. <laughs> no, like, but for sure a house. Um, for a car, I like my car, but I would take like a luxury vehicle. That'd be cute. All mm. of a sudden, all of a sudden, this bitch is with her to list. Take, like it, it took you that long to think of to like, take a, 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 a million away. dollars. I don't know, like. If you could, like, cut off 15 pounds of my life, that'd be cute. Only 15? I mean, I don't know how, how much can you handle on your fucking sleigh. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, you know what I would want from Santa? Ozempic. What is that? It's a fat weight loss. No, I don't want to deal with that. Just take it immediately. <laughs> Just take it. Okay, um, let's see how it is. Period. Watery? Are we... <laughs> so getting worse. Are we getting at the end of it or something already? It's like watery. Shake it. Shake it more. Again? Like, I already yeah, get, I um, shook it the whole time you were giving out your a, damn list. No, it, no, a harder shake. Shake it like like a man. Do you guys see how difficult she is? That she well, can't even say a Christmas wish list. I I, I don't, don't like this question. I'm like, and then I'm Britney gonna buy Spears my, was I need new iPad. AirPods. I'm gonna buy myself new AirPods. All an of us see, and all of a sudden she, she don't shut the Britney fuck up. She said Britney Spears was saying iPad. What's what? She was so excited to get an iPad. I got my son the VR goggles, so we're gonna mess around with those. Those will be fun. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna still be liquid. Okay. Just letting you know, because I just think it's at that. 
Yeah, <gasps> it is. See? Oh, maybe every time that I've had it, it's been at the end or something. Because why is it liquidy now? It was so fluffy at first. Yeah. It's because you spit it out. Oh, God. It's my Anyways, because she sucks at a damn Christmas wish list. We'll go on to the yeah. next topic. I'm Jehovah's Witness. All I want is Ozempic, honestly. I really... That's... Okay, what are we on now? I don't have Medi-Cal, so I can't get that. <laughs> what? Okay, the very last topic of the video is um, Matt Rife versus... Okay. Do not come for me in the comics comments actually we literally have no space for your negativity in the comments yes, unless please. you're telling us how cute hilarious fun, how cute we are how cute we are <laughs> how much you think we're so fun to do your laundry with we don't want to hear it oh. we don't want to hear about we're boring we don't want to hear about me not looking at the camera we don't want to hear it okay <laughs> so uh, so um don't come for me i don't know if it's brooke schofield or showfield because I have heard people say it both ways. Just the one with the Audi? <laughs> her name? Yeah. Oh, I don't know her name. Okay. So, Matt Rife. Okay. First of all, I'm so sorry, but Matt Rife and Tana Mojo. I mean, sorry. Matt Rife and Brooke Schofield, they were dating for a little bit. And this fool, and I was telling her, I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I am not part of cancel culture. I'm not part of like, oh, call this out and call that out. But I would be very offended if I was dating somebody yeah. knowing that I'm fat, bald, and hairy. And if they went on to a pod... Pod? <laughs> if they went on to a bald cast. A they bald to- cast? <laughs> Welcome to our podcast. <laughs> if they went on to a podcast, the That's person it. that I was dating that I have hooked up with and like, clearly, hello, I know how I look. And they go and say, I could never date a man Repulsive. who is fat, bald, and hairy. It's gross. so gross. Fucking nasty. I would be triggered. Done. Yeah. Triggered. You, you me. Like, first of all, first of all, let me, before we even get into the story, if I were to see that, I would block you. Just, you wouldn't even have a chance to talk to me after that because it's done. It's a wrap. Like, there's no coming back. You can't sit here. Oh, I was saying it as a joke. No, well, that's not a funny we, joke. He specifically said he doesn't like Audi. Okay, Women's hold on, hold on. So, <laughs> Brooke Schofield and Matt Rife were dating for a little bit, right? And then he went on to a podcast and he had said this typical woman that he likes, right? Who consists of, like, a blonde woman, this, is and that. And he said his dislikes, his dislikes were obviously... Audi private. Yes. He for said, lady girls. He said a woman that has an Audi is... Damn, I forget the exact quote and no, I did not write it down. It's almost as if God didn't finish building them. Because they left the Audi, which an Audi vagina. And Brooke Schofield, shout out to her. Shout For acknowledging out. Yes. her own Audi, girl. Yes. I know. I love when she said that. I was like, "Yes, right, bitch." You it's what like you me. Got. No one has ever seen my hairy back on social media, but I always sit here and say, "I, I got a fat hairy back. I'm bald." Whatever. No, like, I, I it thought is it was what cute. It is. And yes. she did was like, and he, I have one, and he said that. Yep. So and that's clearly your he knows. man or the fool you're dating, and he's saying that he is so repulsed by this specific thing that you have. Mm-hmm. We're dead. Yeah. Yep. yep and yep, I yep. literally equated it to you as if I had a dude, and it was like, "Oh, I hate fupas." Yeah. Amphipon's a smash. Like, if you say that, I like you're talking about me. Yeah. I, I feel like it's almost as if, like, oh, so you're just with me because I was just the next thing that was in your path, and I'm just messing around with you until I find somebody else. I would feel like, targeted, though, if you said that. I would f- literally feel targeted. Well, also, too, there's a lot of people in the world who have this weird fetish, well, not fetish, or kink, or whatever you want to call it, who, whatever they don't like, they want to go after no. because it makes them feel better. Like, there's a lot of people who like fat guys out there that are skinny because it makes them feel better about themselves. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of skinnier guys or even muscly guys that are like, oh, I like a fat guy because it's like, I'm so much better than you. So when they're hitting it, they're like, I'm better than you. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, does this he... That's some trauma, girl. Literally. Literally, yeah. be comfortable within yourself, be confident within yeah. yourself. But anyways, that whole thing right there, I want to say this, like, I love I love Tana Mojo. I don't know Brooke too much. I was telling her about Brooke. I mean, bro, oh my God, here I am. I'm, That's their podcast together? It's called The Cancelled Podcast. Love and that. Oh, they yeah, still are yes, I love that. Literally. Um, I'm sorry, but Tana Mojo is like, A1, love her. I feel like she would love her too. I feel like she is just so down to earth, real, and just, girl, she was on a TikTok the other day and she spit out her veneer. It popped out. Not she spit it out, but it popped out and she posted it. 
Good for her. Her little her little nubby tooth was all still. She just don't care. So I I feel like because they're best friends and they've been they've had their podcast maybe for like a year now so i feel like i really like brooke too i think that is just so messed up because also um matt rife went on to their podcast the cancel no. podcast and after this whole well i don't you know what i'm confused i don't know if it happened after or whatnot but when he went on to their podcast he acted like he didn't know brooke even no. though they were already they've hooking up yes I'm like come on be for real i'm like how are you gonna go on to somebody's podcast and act like you don't know them even if Honestly, if I was scheduled to be on a podcast and I know that I'm doing it only for publicity and growing my channel and I know that it's a, a, a business obligation, it, me and her, let's give it this example. If she's on this podcast, she's on Whitney Cummings podcast, right? And I just got off of Theo Vaughn's podcast, right? And we haven't talked in a while. We're beefing, but we're scheduled to go together. Girl, you ain't gonna be able to tell. You ain't gonna, I'm gonna fake the funk. No, that and that's what I even told you. I was like, dude, even if you don't want to act like you're dating and like smashing this fake girl, fake the funk. At least acknowledge that you know her yes. outside of this. Yes. This freaking yes. setting. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna but be like, I'm oh like, my god, that red one time flags, this, that's one time red this. Red flags. Yep. And she just, I don't know. She just. She went along with it. I don't know, but come to find out, he had already blocked her number. He already had went up out of there. So Brooke put him on blast. Me, oh, also, I forgot to tell you too that Matt Rife specifically, he was beefing with a six-year-old. I want to say oh on God. TikTok because, damn, I thought I took a screenshot oh, of this, yes. but when I was just looking at my notes it's right like, now, it's like I don't think this is council worthy. I just think that he's just like a tra typical trash man. I think what it is is because he's a good-looking man. He's funny, and now he's rich because he did get like a 30 million dollar deal with netflix. netflix yes yeah. that he's just like mm, well. i'm sorry you're still you're like you're just trash yeah who does that oh also you know what's really crazy i like how i go to my screenshots and i see this is that page six which is kind of like tmz page mm -hmm. six has been around actually i think longer than tmz mm -hmm. they had posted youtuber brooke schofield claims ex matt rife cheated on her with 20 women and she literally quote tweeted and said no, it's the way I absolutely never said that at all whatsoever. And even Twitter, with their community little guideline things, said Brooke herself has denied this. The source the article is referencing to is the Canceled Podcast. At no point during the episode of the Canceled Podcast does Brooke say that. Oh, Twitter doesn't play, huh? No, they or literally... X, whatever you call well, it. I know, I still call it Twitter. But yeah, they put you on blast, like, as far as... Like, because... Elon oh, Musk's whole thing is, like, getting factual statements well, out. We love so. Elon Musk. He's That's whatever. Insane, dude. Um there oh here it goes right here. So Matt Rife, I, I had it in my screenshots, I didn't add it to my notes. Who's That's that what girl? it is. This is the girl, right? And then Matt Rife had commented to this little boy. By the way, you could see his picture. He's <laughs> it's a little boy. Nowhere near puberty. That's Matt sure. Rife literally commented and said, Jupiter also has ring. Don't know what that means. Oh, dot dot dot. And Santa Claus isn't real. Your mom buys your presents with the money she gets on OnlyFans. Good luck. And that's factual. I'm not by the way. sensitive by any means. I keep. Why? Are, why are you beefing with a six-year-old? I six -year -old? keep it straight up with my child. But I feel like if I just got a contract with Netflix, the last thing I'm gonna do is well, find I don't know. anybody. I don't know what time that was taken. I do want to say that. Okay. This recently just came up though. It just recently. No point in my life do TMZ I. TMZ just it. posted about it today. Just letting you know that. He's so. so annoying. It's like I used to be like cool with him. I used to be like he's funny. He's just messy. Well, funny. I think what it is now. And but as now I we, think he's getting played out. As we talked about before is his demographic was all women. And I think that he he's is trying. He's that bridge. He's trying his hardest to show that he's one of the guys too. Girl, so I think that he's like, okay, I'm going to say this. doesn't mean you cheat on everybody and insult all the women around. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't make you one of the guys. Also, I forgot to tell you this podcast that he was on. It was the Stiff, Podca Stiff Socks Sock. podcast. Mm -hmm. And he literally had them delete the podcast. He wiped it. He, he had it deleted because he was getting so much hate. I'm like, st stand by your word. Me, if I, if I get out, okay, I get out there and I say, and I'm like, okay, I don't honestly, like me being a bigger guy, I don't want to date another bigger guy. I stand by my word. I'm not going to scrub it from the internet. If you guys all start bashing me because I'm not attracted to a bigger guy too, being that I'm a bigger guy, whatever. It is what it is. That's just my opinion. Yeah. If you're not attracted to an Audi Vegis, then stay to that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, stick, st stand by it because you look more like a little bitch. You look bitch. insane when you start wiping shit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. You look like a little sissy pie. I think he's funny, but I do have to say all of a sudden he is... He's been on social media. He's, he's been messy. on Wild and Out. He's yes. I'm like he's, he's getting messy. messy. He's getting messier and messier. And I'm like, 
okay, you are funny. I'll give you that. But then it's like, sir, calm down. Calm yeah. down. Like, stop it up, you know? Like, sir, your jaw is nice, but you ain't got no facial hair. Sit down. I, I don't even know if his jaw is his. Like, Did I almost wonder if he had filler. Did you freaking imagine? I wouldn't be I shocked. saw older pictures and I, I was be like. Shocked. Anyways, y'all, we're going to end it on this note because I do have to pee now. And we're going to finish this bottle of whip shots because there's only two shots left. So make sure you guys give us a big thumbs up. This was a hot mess. But I do have to let you guys know every podcast moving forward is going to be a hot mess. This is us. Oh, that's a TV show. This is us. <laughs> Literally, that's it. And it is I've what it is. I've never seen that show. Really? Not an episode. Wow. I know they got like a big girl. They got a black man. Oh. They got a, do they have a gay man. We'll save them? that. We'll save that for another story time. Because I think I told her before I was on a party bus with someone from that cast. And I was. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. I'll shut up. Anyway, <laughs> you guys will hear the story time. But um, I loved everyone from the cast. They're very nice people. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna let me shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm gonna get a fucking cease and desist. Uh, no, I have, I have proof. I have videos. Why can't and pictures. I log into my YouTube? <laughs> no, it has nothing to do with YouTube. Anyways, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. We would appreciate it, and make sure you guys subscribe down below because our next podcast will be on. Don't come new looking channel. right here for us no more, yes, girl. Yes. Okay. Don't come looking. We're mm-hmm. gonna be somewhere else. Amen. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye, girls.